I would say December was p- probably one of my lowest points. And by March, I'm like, I can conquer the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tomorrow that could be a different story, but right now I can conquer the world. <laughs> right, right. But there is something about reaching that high yeah. that even if you go back low again, you can't unfeel this. No, and I, my lows, my low lows are what brought me to my highs. So even when I'm in my low, as much as I can't see, I don't, there's no rainbows or sunshine. Like when I'm in my low, like life is hard, life is bad, and I even question, will I be able to tap back into that? Or have I slipped back into this hole? But knowing that I was in this low before and that's what got me to the high. So I just sit back and embrace it as much as I can now because I know that that's what's gonna teach me my next thing. That's gonna be what gets me to 815 Mamas. That's gonna get me to put pen to paper and write a book. Not that I will, but it's just knowing that it's going to get me to that next step, like to that next level. It makes the lows different. It's an opportunity, I guess, now. And I never would have seen that coming before. (laughs) Yeah. That, I mean, what you just said, it's Mm -hmm. like the lows aren't even like, it's not like, oh, just get through this so you can get back up to no. the high. It's like, this is literally here for a purpose Embrace to strengthen it. you. Yeah. yeah. And like you said, the lows feel different when you go at them with open arms. Mm-hmm. Like that changes everything. Yeah. When I was in my lows before, especially as a mom and a new mom, like I have everything I ever wanted. And I, then I was in this low at the same time. And it, I, I felt so much shame for being in that low spot. Um, and just like, come on, let's get out of it. You have to be strong. You have to be strong. When in all reality, being strong and trying to get over it was only damaging because it was just stuffed down. It will come back up. You have no control over it. And once you, ex- I accepted it at least, um, I realized that I, everybody will have lows. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter who you are, you will have a low. Um, and just, it doesn't make me a bad mom because I'm having a low moment. Like, of course not. My, And not to mention, I think it's such, I have a daughter. Like I said, she's two and a half now. I want her to know she can have lows too. Like, I don't want her to just see mommy disappear and then come back happy, you know? Like, not that I want her to see me crying either, but at the same time, I want her to know that that's okay and to watch me get the strength to get through it from embracing it because I never want her to stuff her feelings down so why would I show her me stuffing mine down just so mommy can be okay like no life is hard and I tell her that it's like now the same like she's two so she has meltdowns (laughs) but I just tell her like Kinsley it's okay to feel this way go have a minute and maybe putting her in her bed to have a minute is hard at the moment but literally within two minutes she'll come out happy just because she had a moment to sit with her feelings and not feel shame for feeling those feelings and I just it's crazy that she can do that because she's seen me do that and now when she's having a little bit of a hard time she'll even tell me mommy I just need a minute I'm like okay Kinsley like you do whatever you have to do and then she'll be fine. And I think it's so beautiful to not find shame in those low moments, like, and to see it come full circle at two and a half years old. (laughs) Like that's, it's something that I'm proud of. And I can say I've never been proud of myself, nor would I think that low moments would be what I'm proud of. But here we are. (laughs) I love that so much. 